welcome to android labs today i am going to explain you about posting a data to google sheet from your android application it basically consists of two parts one is writing a app script and second one is android part first i am going to explain you about writing a app script here is a google script i'm sure uh, it will be untitled project uh, first go to google script and give a name to a project here i am giving it as test3 now create do get and do post methods to handle http request that is sent by from your client these are built in methods or functions in google script after creating handle this by creating a handle function so here i am calling handle function i will be creating it soon so pass the parameter now i am creating handle function so here i am receiving parameter as request send that is sent by the client so first i am creating a variables where i will be assigning the values that is received from the request to those variables so here name uh, and country and id is sent from client as a http post request so here i am receiving it as a parameter now i am creating a spreadsheet object or variable by using functions three different functions this opens a spreadsheet that is provided with the id so make sure you provide your own id spreadsheet id and i am getting a sheet from that particular spreadsheet to that do that you use uh, get sheet by name sheet name is sheet 1 you can change for your own sheet now i am adding a row to the current sheet so it will append a new row with the content provided so i am appending a row with the name and country so that's all with the script now you have need to publish so make sure that while publishing Uh, you will give access based on your requirement since i am making it as a public i am giving access to everyone so copy that and now test it in the post man web app so i am deleting it and now i am checking with the parameters so name i have given a labs country i have given abc and id you copy your own spreadsheet id then post it see the value has been updated in the sheet so that is about post and now now i'll check with the get okay so it's working now let's move to android part now here is the android part compared to previous part uh, i have made some modification that is i have renamed this main activity and uh, main xml files to respective as shown and now i am creating a new xml for form uh, that is to take inputs from the user here is the code you can refer it from my blog so i am using that code so it consists of two uh, text fields and one button submit so now i am creating a package to post the uh, data to have post activity create post activity java file and 
here I am going to post data to the server from your Android phone. So here is the code. So here basically I'm you need to modify the URL uh, for your respective server uh, web app server link that is I have shown in the part above parts. So I'm replacing that URL and don't forget to change the ID of your uh, spreadsheet where you are going to dump the data. The two parts and these are the parameters I am sending name, country, and ID to the server through HTTP post request. So, these are the modification you need to do. Now, I am for user interface, I am creating two buttons. This is just a user interface part. How done with the user interface part? The thing left now is to modify manifest file. Okay. Now I am done with the user interface pages. This is main page, which is going to start immediately after launching the application. So I am using intent here to divert or to uh, navigate to respective activities. So this is the manifest file. So this is very important. If you don't add activities in the manifest, so it won't launch there. So that's all. Now let's check with output. Here is my app. First I will add the user. I am giving his name as Ram and country as India. Click on submit. Okay, now we can check in the spreadsheet the data has been updated. Ram and India. Now I am going to check whether it is fetching back to the app. So click on view users, fetch the data. Okay, see you can see the RAM has been listed in the to know how to fetch the data from Google spreadsheet to your Android application. You can click here to watch. That's all for the day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.